Hi everyone, welcome back to KG Graves. Today we're at Brighton and Preston Cemetery in Brighton, East Sussex. And we're here to visit the grave of the actor Bill Pertwee, who starred as Warden Hodges in Dad's Army. More information coming up about Bill shortly, but as usual, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, you know it's free, and hit that notification bell for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. I am really surprised yeah. that you brought Mr. Hodge along today. Well, as I said earlier, yeah, we, didn't, case, we didn't bring him. He must have been on it. No, I had to come. If I hadn't I come fire. Just a minute. If I hadn't come, this Captain Manning would have tried to take over Brighton. He wants to be an elected taker of Brighton. Over Brighton. Yes, I know you would. You want to have another Portugal, don't you, on your hands? This is the ready time. William Desmond Anthony Pertwee was born on the 21st of July 1926 in Amersham, Buckinghamshire. He was a British comedy actor. He was the youngest of three boys and his father died in 1938 when Bill was just 12. He left school during the Second World War and worked for a company that made parts for Spitfire cannon. Bill was declared unfit for RAF service as he was on medication following a swimming accident but was a member of the Air Training Corps, UK Air Cadets. He later worked as an accounts clerk for the Stock Exchange and as a salesman for the clothing retailer Burberry in London. Bill appeared in the radio comedy series Beyond Our Ken, 1959 to 1964 and Round the Horn, 1965 to 1967. He was also a warm-up act for many television shows. His most prominent role was that of ARP Warden Hodges in Dad's Army, which he played in both the original television series from 1968 to 1977 and the radio adaptations as well as the radio sequel It Sticks Out Half a Mile, set after the war. Bill was president of the Dad's Army Appreciation Society and the author of the book, Dad's Army, The Making of a Television Legend. In July 2008, he and other surviving members of the Dad's Army cast gathered at the Imperial War Museum on the 40th anniversary of the show's first broadcast in 1968. In 1975, he took part in the Dad's Army stage show and, with Norman MacLeod, released the Dad's Army single, Get Out and Get Under the Moon with Bill's B-side song, Hooligans, on EMI. He appeared in two Carry On films, Carry On Loving, 1970, and Carry On Girls, 1973. His appearance in Carry On At Your Convenience, 1971, was cut from the final film. His other film appearances include The Magnificent Seven Deadly Sins, 1971, Psychomania 1973, Love Thy Neighbour 1973, Man About the House 1974, Confessions of a Pop Performer 1975, What's Up Nurse 1977 and What's Up Superdoc 1978. On television Bill appeared in the final episode of It Ain't Half Hot Mum 1981 and an episode of Heidi High, 1986. He also played PC Wilson in You Rang My Lord, 1988 to 1993. He was a subject of This Is Your Life in 1999, when he was surprised by Michael Aspel at the Imperial War Museum. I'm here at the Imperial War Museum, and I'm here to target a man who lived through that time, and because of it, became part of a TV legend. He's a member of the cast of Dad's Army. Thank you. Right. Very much. Because it gets, it gets in the way, you know. Uh, don't panic, Mr. Hodges, don't panic. We're all here for <laughs> one reason, so that I can say, Bill Pertwee tonight, this is your life. <laughs> you know, I, I thought, that's a familiar voice, I thought, and, yet, and he was pushed in it, I thought, well, like, all You right. took the hat off, that's what amazed me. I don't know what to do.
<laughs> Here, a pride of Pertwee's, including your son, Jonathan. And, of course, the girl you met 44 years ago in Norfolk when you were appearing your first stage show, your wife, Marion. Marion, that show was called Summertime and you were a singer and dancer. What yes, about Bill? Yes, that's right, yes. And I do remember that poor Bill, he really wasn't very good in those days. We knew he had talent, but the thing is what to do with it. <laughs> I had the awful job of almost getting him the sack. It was pretty dreadful, really, but the... The proprietor said, well, we can't get anyone else at this time, and he's cheap, and he fits... <laughs> and also, the other thing, he fits the costume, so... I'm afraid he'd have to stay and stay, he did, but by the end of the season, we'd licked him into shape, oh. and the rest is history. <laughs> in 2011, a portrait of Bill, painted by a local artist, was unveiled in the Dad's Army Museum, Thetford, where it now resides. He was the patron of the museum, and of the DAAS, Dad's Army Appreciation Society, until his death. In his personal life, Bill married Marion McLeod in 1955. They had a son, Jonathan James Pertwee, born in 1966, who has appeared in various TV programmes. Following the death of his wife, he lived in Topsham, Devon. He was awarded an MBE in the Queen's 2007 Birthday Honours List for his services to charity. He was also initiated as a member of the Grand Order of Water Rats in 1976. During 2012, Bill became ill. He died peacefully in his sleep at his home on the 27th of May 2013 at the age of 86. Three days previously, he had attended a parade in Thetford home of the Dad's Army Museum, where spectators and museum volunteers remarked how frail he was looking. He was godfather to one of the sons of his Dad's Army co-star, Ian Lavender, who is now the only surviving original cast member. Bill appeared in 12 films between 1970 and 2012, 10 TV shows between 1968 and 1994, and 10 radio shows between 1959 and 1984. Let's see where his grave is located. So, there you have it, the grave of Bill Pertwee, British comedy actor. 
As usual, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for more videos like this. Please leave a comment below. I like to read the comments and I always reply to any good comments. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.